Positioned European light welterweight titles. He was outboxed on that occasion by Colin Lines. This is Kevin Placide from Trinidad. Boxing outside the West Indies for the first time is a southpaw, and he's won nine of his last 11 fights. We can join him from the start. Seconds out, round one. Important year for West Bromwich's popular young Mutley. Needs to get his career firing again. 31 now. Starts tonight with the West Indian Kevin Placide, who's won nine of 13. Bit of an unknown quantity over from the West Indies. From Trinidad, Southpaw style. And we will learn about him as we go along. We know about Mutley, Jim. Yep, what we do, it's great to see him back get closer to the, the division he should be boxing in. First impressions of a Placide, he has a confident air about him. South Paul, he looks as though he's cagey, he thinks before he does anything. So I think young Muckley will be wanting to do the same for the first round or so. Just find out uh, what this guy's capable of. His record's not all that bad. And the uh, first impressions, cool looking customer. Muckley's weighed in at 10, 6 and a quarter, just under the 10 stone 7 welterweight limit. Balled himself right down. That fight with Colin Lyons at 10 stone. Dreadful that night, he really was Mutley. Never got going. Lost in eight rounds. Lines here watching tonight. But Mutley, I think we'll be happy about the welterweight. Yeah, without a doubt, Dale, he'll feel so much stronger. But this uh, looks like a cagey, awkward customer he's, uh, he's picked this evening. Of the fighting policeman. He's 33, a couple of years older, and he's boxing outside the West Indies for the first time. Doesn't look overawed, does he? No, he certainly doesn't. He looks quite comfortable as a matter of fact, so I would say Mutley wants to kind of impose himself as soon as possible. You don't want a, a KG. Southpaw coming forward, uh, making use of that southpaw jab. Good work there from Mullis. That's what's required. Doesn't want single punches against this fellow. He's nice and cool, he likes to counter. So if you lead single punches, that's exactly what he'll do. So twos and threes, at least at a time. Pleasing to watch normally, young Matley. There's a great deal of support here for him, as always. Cult following in the Midlands. They all came out to Milan recently when Mutley had an appearance in Italy. I think there were about three or four hundred who made the journey over just for a six-rounder. Get the hands out, don't hold, don't hold. Break! One step back. When I say break, it's yeah. literally box off. The style of Kevin Placide. Probably Mutley's opener. With 0% finance over three years and only 10% deposit on the McGann Hatch and Sport Hatch. Seconds out, round two. Second of six. A poker face he always has, and a young Mutley, real name Lee Woodley. Up against this Kevin Plessis. Just a bit of tape loose on the glove. And Phil Edwards, quite rightly, is taking him back to his corner to sort it out. A bit early for that in the fight. Time it, pops off. West Bromwich colours of Mutley. He's won 23 of 26, former British welterweight champion. A wonderful win over Michael Jennings. Didn't really build on it, though. See, I think tonight, when Mutley decides to, to throw some punches, he's going to have to fully commit himself, move right in with the shots, because this fella's pretty quick, he's pretty sharp. 
He looks cagey, he looks as though he knows what he's doing. So if he leads with half-hearted punches, he's going to be countered. And I think he was just clipped with the southpaw right hook there as he went back. But... One name we do recognise on the Placide record is Christopher Henry. He fought over here a few times. And Placide has an 11th round stoppage victory over him on the slate. It's decent enough for him. It's so difficult to know what to expect. I mean, especially for the Muttley camp. Yeah, but I mean, as soon as this fellow uh, squared up from the opening bell, he had the air of someone who knows what he's doing, and that's how it's uh, shaping out here. He's having a decent second round so far. A couple of nice bursts at Muttley, a couple of decent shots he's landed. And he doesn't throw them singly either. He can put them together. Just going to sleep a little bit, just... Uh, at the moment, but he's produced some decent stuff. So Muttley will want to raise the pace here and try and get get himself into the driving seat. He needs to make a couple of statements as well, young Muttley. He needs to get people remembering what he can do. Flat and lethargic he was in that fight we mentioned in Italy against Arik Malek. That's been a criticism of uh, young Muttley before. He's a difficult one to assess, to work out, isn't he? Yeah, and at this moment, it's only early stages, but uh, Placid looks that bit more comfortable than Muttley. He, he's quite happy with the pace. Muttley's allowing him to work at his own pace, and with these kind of southpaws, you don't want that. You want to take the bull by the horns a little bit, but then that was a kind of messy attack from Muttley. Not timing his attacks or his punches well yet. Yes, he stumbled in there. Young Matley has boxed plenty of southpaws before, like John Marshall and John Honey. A couple that spring to mind. Sparring has gone well, according to the camp. Jab a bit loose of Young Matley. Now he's been caught in this second round. And not a good one. The young Matley. When I'm a walking, I stop my style, and I'm so hung out. I fly like a kite, I just might stop to check you out. Let me go on, like I blister in that. Fast is super chilled. Well, you wouldn't want a warm beer, would you? Admit he's a rather dour character. They're trying to breathe life into him, fire him up in that corner. Come on. We need you to look good in these fights. He's having difficulty with this uh, tricky southpaw from Trinidad and Tobago, Kevin Placide. He lost his first couple, but has uh, won most since. And coming off a victory over Julian Tannis in four rounds, he seems confident. Yep. He seems completely at home. Uh, I mean, Muttley has had to go to the well several times in his career, and you can only do that so often, and it's difficult to do it when there, when there are no titles in, at stake. So if motivation is a problem here tonight, then it could be a big problem because, because this fellow is really boxing well, using single southpaw jabs now and landing. Yep, that British title that he so skillfully won against Michael Jennings against the odds in January 2006. He then lost in that cracker with Kevin Anderson. And Anderson down almost out early in the fight. But the uh, stubborn Scotsman came right back and stopped young Matley. Well, Muttley hasn't really come to terms with the southpaw stance yet because at the end of his own attacks he's been clipped with a, a southpaw right hook counter and he doesn't seem to have an answer for that. He's overreaching, isn't he, with that jab? Yeah, but he's having trouble with the, with the southpaw stance. He hasn't solved it out. So, as I was saying earlier, you have to totally commit yourself to an attack with this type of guy because if you're half in and half out, then he'll pin you on the counter. You have to move straight in with the punches. If they don't land, then you're in a position to spoil what's coming back. 
If you reach with the punches, you're going to be countered. There it is again, that lovely little shot, right hook. Yeah, physically, he looks well, young Matley. Mentally, it's not going according to plan, this. And he can feel sorry for himself at times. We've seen that in little spells through fights. And Errol Johnson is getting agitated in the blue corner. What are they going to do? against this Kevin Placide. There's a strange little bit of play acting from Placide there. He acted as though he was hurt. He actually convinced me slightly. I wondered if he was slightly stunned there. He moved back and acted as though he was exaggerating the effects of a punch. I wonder if he was a little bit shaken. Good time for Muckley, really, to pick up the pace. Not been a great round for him so far. Thumps one into the body of Placide. That's got 12 stoppages on the slate, young Mutley. He can punch, but he surely lost that round again. Welcome to Beverly Hills, home of the rich and famous. Just look at the beautiful cars. It's okay for today. They're gone. The Renault Clio, an exterior sign of inner richness. Now appearing on a street near you, the Renault Clio, from £99 per month with no deposit. Typical 9.4% APR. Feel good? Come on, keep relaxing. Keep relaxing a bit. Work your job. Well, they said that uh, he heard him with his right. Yeah, well, I saw that. I thought it was a little bit of play acting here, but there you go. I mean, that looked to me like play acting, and they responded, but from that point on, I actually thought it was shaking, it was a decent shot, caught him with it. No, it wasn't play acting, it, it was stunned. I thought it was a little bit of bravado there, but it wasn't. So, best bit of action from Motley so far. One shot have just dented the confidence ever so slightly of Kevin Placid, who looked relaxed and at home and in control of this. Fans try to rally young Mutley. Can he build on that tiny bit of success? Well, he's going to have to take some chances. I, I don't think there's a cute uh, cagey way to beat this fellow. Well, he's shown he has the power to trouble him. So he's going to have to start using that, put punches together, raise the tempo and start controlling things. He has to impose himself a bit more. He hasn't had a knockout, young Mutley, since September 2006, blew away Alexander Abramenko, as he was expected to do. To light up the stage again. British welterweight champion, of course, Kevin McIntyre after the double win over Kevin Anderson, so changing times. And there are chances still for young Mutley, even though he's 31. Well, Placide not doing quite so much at the beginning of this round, so this would be a good time uh, for Mutley to try and get a, a grip on things here. See, that's the difference when he puts a couple of punches out. Single punches are going to be countered. Twos and threes and move in behind the shots with the chin down. Then possibly get a result. But reaching with the, with the punches, as he's just done there, he's asking to be countered. Working the body at least, young Matley. Faster hands there of Placide. He's got the weight advantage, 11, one and a half to 10, six and a quarter. I feel physically strong, Placide. And punch a bit too, five knockouts in his nine victories today. Well, Motley just wants to put the pedal down. We're in the last minute here, just, I mean, this is a round that's there for the taking because Placide hasn't done too much. So just raise the pace a little, that's exactly what's required. Just put it beyond doubt who's winning this round because uh, this could very well be tight at the end up. 
good right hand again. But he just gave a look. Took a goal for there, and he's down, and he's hurt this time. At the end of the fourth, he fell down. He went back heavily. The Muttley fans are on their feet. Kevin Besiege not. Oh, very nearly, and he is this time. It stops. Young Muttley finds the punches to end proceedings when it was looking to be a very uncomfortable night and you've got to hand it to young Matley for that finish yeah well he turned it around when, when, when it was needed he showed in the previous round he did have the power to trouble for a seed i think the mistake for a seed made he stayed on his knees too long with a mandatory eight count now in british boxing you don't have to do that you can get up earlier you know you have the eight count but he stayed in his knees and he looked badly hurt right up to the eight count and he sprinted to the top it was a lovely left hook finish from Muttley. I was just saying the time is there to have a really good round here, just finish on a high, raise the pace, and then the left hook came across, bang on the chin, lovely punch, and I looked at this stage as though Placid wasn't even going to try to beat the count. But uh, the way he come up onto his knees, spent too long on his knees, really gave the referee no choice but to stop it. So it's good to see Martin. I mean, it's quite possi possible to get out of jail here because this fellow is giving him problems. I mean, I had it pretty level points-wise, but a lovely finish and uh, got himself out of jail, got a result when he wasn't boxing his best. But this is where he should have got onto his feet here. I mean, there is a mandatory eight count, so you don't have to stay on your knees and look as though you're in distress. And he sprinted up at the count of eight. He should be standing with his hands up ready to box at that point. So, referee, you cannot fault the stoppage. You could maybe have taken a chance on it, but it's a stoppage you can't fault, and it's all down to Proceed's fault. Did you know you'd get to him in the end? Yeah, I knew I'd catch up with him in the end. Shot. How do you feel back up at Weltway? Do you feel stronger now? Yeah, I feel a lot stronger. This is my way, this is where I'm staying. I'm moving now. I'm just, I'm just aiming for a, com for a shot at the Commonwealth for the British. What about your confidence levels after that loss to Colin Lyons? Do you feel back to your old self now? The confidence is coming back bit by bit, but I wore that, conf I wore that confidence and I should, have, I should have finished it earlier, so I stepped on the gas earlier, but I'll be back. Just get a few more fights and I'll be ready for the Commonwealth or British, if they give me a shot. Do you think you can become a champion again this year? Yeah, that's, what I want. that's my aim, to be a, to be a British champion or Commonwealth champion this year. Glenn, were you impressed with